welcome back my A1 day ones. Um, it is, it is like 7.09 in the morning and I just got up. I usually get up earlier than this, like at like 5.15 to like do my meditations and stuff, but I was overslept. So today is April 18th and actually this day is, ma'am, dang. <laughs> this day is the day where I shaved the back of my head and the side of my head bald. So it's been a full year. This is what she playing with. So if y'all hear her, that's what she doing. But it's been a full year since I shaved my head. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys how much my hair has grown. I'm gonna try to insert some pictures in here from before and after, from when I shaved my head. And you can see what it looks like now. Um, that's why I haven't really been doing my hair and my hair is dirty so that's why I got like this tank top on because it's dirty and I have to wash it today and since today is the first day well since today is my yearly day of having my hair shaved I'm going on a six month hair journey okay. I'm going on a six month hair journey and I am going to wear my hair in nothing but protective styles and of course take care of it. So I would, I would like you guys to come on that journey with me and I'm just going to show you things that I do to keep my hair protected, some things that I use to keep my hair protected and, um, and what I mean by that is like basically the basic things that i use is like um i use like jamaican castor oil mint oil and then i use peppermint oil and then i use wild hair growth oil so i use those oils i really haven't found um a shampoo and a conditioner that i really really like but i'm searching for that as well as um this time around i'm going to take care of vitamins so it's a brand that i want to take and this is not going to be sponsored or anything but it's called haironamics i took haironamics before and it did tremendous amount of growth so i'm going to take those it should be coming in soon soon but that's what I'm planning on taking. I'm looking at my calendar right here. But with all that talking, I'm going to show you guys my hair. I wanted to take it down off camera to show you guys, like, how much my hair has grown over the years. Um, My top part was also cut down as well. I had, like, hair all around. It could fit into, like, a big puff ball. So, now... I can actually twist my hair so when I first shaved my hair it was so hard to figure out what to do with it because I can only do stuff to the top of it and like my whole head was orange and now that you see that my orange then and if you see stuff falling that's dangerous but as you see is my hair now I don't know um, and FYI don't comb out your hair if it's dry <laughs> and my hair is dry luckily I'm not getting too much breakage but that's because I haven't washed my hair in a week so 
So I do plan on evening out my hair soon and changing the color, switching things up because it's time for a switch up. But um, this is my hair and I'm probably going to zoom in for you guys. But yeah, this is my hair after. That's my hair after a full year. So a full year of being shaved. I don't know the length, but But my hair does need to be trimmed. But in a year, my hair has grown. I'm trying to keep my head neutral. Stop, Alani. So yeah, in about a year, my hair has grown to almost the bottom of my neck i want to say half of my neck and i'm gonna zoom up so you guys can see or maybe i can just scoot up but like i said my hair is dirty and i know you can probably see all the dirt so and i need my split ends cut so but yeah that is a year of growth for my hair. Um, let's see for the top part. Top part of my hair, it's right there. Mm, maybe a little bit under my chin. Well, I need my ends cut, so. I'm gonna sit right there, watch it. So that's the top part of my hair. We're gonna do the sides because I did get my sides cut and my size is different from my back. So for my sides. This is how. This is how far I got. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah. So, let me keep my hair straight. This is how far. In a year. And the right side. My hair. I think the right side is a little bit shorter. If I even took the same in the same place, I tried to take in the same place. But I, I definitely think my right side is a little bit shorter. This all happened in a year. Um, so from being shaved completely bald to all of this in a year, which is so crazy because you know, some people hair doesn't grow that fast. And it really takes time to grow your hair. I like that. It really takes time to grow your hair and to think of little stuff to do with it um no basically the things that i did was i did used to wash my hair every week um now i'm starting to get back to it but now that i see my hair has changed because my hair is changing that some of the shampoo that i use is drying out my hair 
and the shampoo that I used to use it went dry out my hair and I guess because I guess because my whole dark side is my my hair my natural hair um so this is like organic and not organic but you know and it it a benefit for my color but it won't benefit for anything else so that's what i said i haven't really found a shampoo and a conditioner and a deep conditioner that i like but when i did have my uh before i shaved my hair i used a lot of um jamaican black castor oil hair food i used a lot of that on my shaved parts of my hair because as I still had to moisturize that. I couldn't just let it not have nothing. And plus, that part was also red. Um, that part was also orange. And that's the only. That's the thing I would say. I think I went wrong with when shaving my hair is that I decided to shave. I decided to color all my hair and wasn't thinking that the shave parts the color would just be on the ends and i don't even think i have any color on my ends anymore it's just the top part of my hair and that's really why my hair is uneven and you can tell my hair is uneven so i think that's the one mistake i would make like i will only just tell next time just put like the color in the top part of my hair but you know make your hair look good so Oh no, that's that's what I did. Um, what else? At that point, I was using the only stuff I was using was um, Kansu Cream of Nature. I was using Cream of Nature Coconut Line. I love that stuff. That stuff was working for my hair, and um, at the time, it was the cheapest for me that I could get. And let's see. Um, I did use a whole bunch of wild hair growth oil. I love wild hair growth oil. That helps me a lot. That's actually one of my staples. Um, and before, I think when my hair was, when my hair, stop <clears throat> uh, eating hair. When I was able to grip my hair, I would do small twist outs. I would do small twist outs and take them out but it came to like a point where my hair was just like getting really bushy and I couldn't grab it so and that that was the first point where my hair started getting bushy but I couldn't grab the back part to do um twist outs so I actually went to um my braider who braids braids hair and I actually had her give me box braids and the box braids that I had I think are the box braids that I first made my channel with so when y'all see me with the box braids that was my very first time I want to say back in November I want to say back in November so I got my hair cut in April May June July August, September, October, November so seven months is where other people could actually grip my hair to do my hair if that makes sense sorry if it doesn't but other people was actually able to grip my hair I was able to grip my hair too but the middle part I couldn't grip it <laughs> to twist it and so after I took that out um my hair was like whoosh and actually it's grown a lot more since then and i've just been doing mostly protective styles when i took that out i think i had braids i can't remember oh no i had so in so i used, i had my braids in for until december maybe january um probably january so i had it in for a good month two and a half months and i showed y'all how to take that down so whenever that video was up um that was me taking it down for the first time and you see how much my hair has grown um 
I know I keep saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so that that video was me taking it out after I want to say two and a half months because I usually don't keep it in for three months, but it's close to three months. And then that's when I started wearing, I let my hair go, I let my hair free. And then my birthday came around and I put it in a sewing. Well, it was a wig. So I had it braided up. Didn't leave the wig on for too long because I had another wig and I put that on. So yeah, my hair has been in a protective style for like four months. Not straight, but for four months. And I have this tremendous amount of growth. So I'm excited to see how much growth I'm gonna get. I kind of feel how much growth I'm gonna get because I'm starting a whole new journey, a whole new hair journey, and I'm gonna be consistent with it because I want you guys to know how fast your hair can grow if you take care of it properly. And I'm gonna get this brand that I put on there, but I didn't show you guys because I don't know the name of it. I do know the name, but it's hard to say. And it's a yellow and green bottle, but that's also good for protective styles because they have like shampoo, dry shampoo, and you can shampoo your hair with that every week. And it's just got a line called pertaining to hair growth, um, protective styles. I use that one a lot when I had my protective styles and I use wild hair growth oil. So with me adding in another element of hair vitamins, I'm so excited. I'm ready to see where my hair journey goes. Um, staying consistent is one thing. You have to stay consistent. And um, I'm also having, I'm also on my weight loss journey, which I'm excited for. I have a lot of good things planned. I can't do no workouts in my house because it's too small. But I am going to do it outside at my park because I do have workouts out there to show you guys. But like I said, I'm going to have my mom or my sister. I was going to tell my mom and my sister will be there to help. <laughs> my mom recorded and show you guys because I haven't forgot about that. Um, I am going to, I am starting another new journey. It's not another new journey, but you know, I'm starting my career. I'm going to say that. I'm be starting my career soon. But yeah, that's for a whole nother story. So, this is my hair after being bald for my yearly hair growth after shaving my head, which is so crazy. Like, it's so crazy. I wish I had a measuring tape, a measure, so I can tell you guys, like, how much. But, um... Yeah, I don't have anything else to say to you guys. Um, but I would like for you to come along with this journey with me. Now, I would say my protective styles would be box braids, single leaf twists, and wigs. And I plan in goddess braids. So, I actually plan on doing my box braids and my single leaf twists just to save me money. Because I know how to do that. And I will put a link. I will make a video to show you guys how I do my box braids um I'm not the best explainer I'm really not <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys that if you guys don't like my braids and yeah so I guess I'll see you guys in my next video and I really do miss you guys I really do miss this so see you guys on my next video you go to your A1 day ones bye say see you later mm. I know, I know. <laughs> See you later, guys.